All right, well, what's up guys? I thought I would finally update you on my app. So this is the Android version. Oh, let me just lost the screen there. This is the Android version of the Lucid Reality app that I released on iPhone uh, a while back. Must, must be more than a year now. Um, so it's finally on Android. It's gonna be called either Lucid Reality, as you can see here, uh, or just if you searched just for how to Lucid, um, you should be able to find it. So this is the Lucid Dreaming app that I've been kind of working on for Android. Um, basically, it's just the, the same as the iPhone one. It's porting it across to Android. Um, and so I'm just gonna go through a few, I'm just gonna go through a few uh, features of the app so that you can kind of see how it works. And uh, hopefully you will, let me just get it in a good position here. Hopefully you, uh, this will be useful and you can go and download this thing. So, so firstly, this is the home screen, uh, as you can see. And then there's kind of like an introduction here, links to reality check reminder, lucid dreaming journal, and then auto shut off alarm for wake back to bed and then learn. That's where you can get like free articles and tutorials and then a link to my YouTube videos. All right, so I'll take it from the beginning. This is the dream journal. Uh, so basically, really simple. You click on new and then you can type in your, your dream titles and stuff there, classify whether it was lucid or not, save. So that's pretty simple, but then it automatically sorts it into folders. So you've got like des uh, December, sorts it into the different months, organizes it chronologically, and then it sorts it here by lucid or non-lucid. There's also a button here that tells you, it's basically a little tutorial I made on how to keep a dream journal and you know, best, best practices and stuff like that. Uh, so that's the dream journal, pretty simple. It doesn't yet have a passcode, but that's a development I'm gonna work on uh, for next time. So then you have, this is the main feature of this thing, really, the reality check reminder. So this is like a notification that will go off. You can set it to go off every hour, every two hours, randomly. And if you click random, it actually gives you a few, a few options of how many times you want it to do it. So let's say if we set 30 reminders, and then you can also set, if you want to, you can set a time bracket. So you can say, I want 30 reminders between the hours of two till five. And it will distribute those uh, those kind of 30 reminders across that time bracket and you need to click save, obviously. So a few things, you need to make sure, uh, because this is why I had a lot of complaints or comments about from the first one. These are the main issues. So you need to make sure that when you do the reality check reminder, you select random and then however many, you need to make sure that when you do the reality check reminder, you first select the time. So it goes in order from, uh, in terms of what you need to do to set it from top to bottom. So first you set the time period. So let's say if it's random, you then set how many. So let's go with 20. And then if you want to set the time bracket, you would do that now. If not, leave it off. And then you go down and then you type in your the actual reminder you want it to say to you in the notification. So let's just put dream. Make sure notifications are on and then you select the sound There's a bunch of different sounds, I don't know. Anyway, and then uh, once you've done that, once you've selected the sound, then you go up here and click save. That's really important. And it will say alarms have been set. That, that's how you know it's gonna start working. Um, and then you need to make sure if you wanna turn notifications off, obviously come in here and turn notifications off. Pretty simple and straightforward. And then if you scroll down, you have kind of like a tutorial on reality checks in general, um, how to do them best and that kind of thing. There's a link to an article I wrote, which will explain more. Now this button here is a is optional. This is the auto shut off alarm function and this is for wake back to bed. So if you want to set your alarms to, to go off, you know, uh, at let's say 5 a.m., five minutes past five, 10 minutes past. So you can try and interrupt your sleep and get uh, lucid dreams happening. That's how you do it. So you go, you go here first, you tap on the time, select the time, and obviously make sure it's the right time, right? And then uh, select the sound that you want. You can even have different sounds for different alarms. Click uh, save when you're done and make sure it's turned on. Uh, and that's how you set the auto shut off alarm. Have a play around with it. And then there's, yeah, there's the about section, just kind of explaining a bit more about lucid dreaming, what you can expect. And then the tools section, this, uh, this I think is really useful for beginners, especially you have uh, a list of offline tutorials and you know articles and things like that. Just a text version from my site. 
Uh, so you can basically learn all of these techniques um, from the app without needing an internet connection. This app doesn't need internet to run. Uh, the In fact, it shouldn't need any permissions, really, just maybe like editing documents to save the dream journal and stuff. Um, and then obviously notifications. That's pretty much the only thing this app does. And then you have, um, yeah, some explanations of different things. Uh, there's dark mode. So if you turn dark mode on, it's going to be not as uh, harsh on your eyes when you're writing dreams in the middle of the night. So dark mode is pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here, acronyms. Um, what I would say is just go and download it. Uh, if you enjoy it, please go and leave a review in the in the Play Store, in the Lucid Dream, in the uh, Google Play Store, because this has just been released and it's it's really hard to it's really hard to get reviews of a new app. So I would I would really really appreciate if you are watching this video and you do go and download this, please like just have a play with it and then just give it a quick review. It would really mean a lot to me and it would help me out with making better stuff for you in the future. <clears throat> so I'm sorry it's taken so long, but hopefully when you're seeing this video, the app is now in the Play Store live and you can go and check it out. You can go and download it. It's all free. There's no paid upgrades here. It's all completely free. It doesn't even require you know the internet to run. So I hope you enjoy this and leave a comment by the way, letting me know what you think or any suggestions for this app. Anything at all that you want me to upgrade, include or do next time, just put them in the comments of this video and then upvote the other comments that you want to see as well and I will get to them and I will update them. It might take me a month, um, but I will do it. <laughs>